The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. And welcome, everyone. Excellent. Are we there? Uh, wait, welcome to another excellent uh, power trading hour. And it doesn't matter where you're at, as long as you're here at the appointed time. <clears throat> the following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. Well, we got a lot of things going on. Uh, s and P's down 55 points, and for whatever reason that I'm unsure of, uh, I got a mouse that continues to click around where uh, weird spots. Maybe it needs a new battery. But uh, if weird things happen today, just. Uh, Know that it uh, may be down to that battery, which I'll try to change at the first. Uh, th now, uh, what do we have going on? There's a few things I want to talk about today before we get into any charts. One is uh, kind of the idea of a 100-year flood uh, in the marketplace. I suspect we are in that. Um, I was expecting yesterday to close back above 4,000 on the S&P cash. That would have been a big signal. Closing below it was also a big signal. I thought maybe at the last few minutes something would come along. It did not. Uh, I waited till the uh, fairly big bounce and got out of the last two positions I had uh, that we put on in the last day or two. Uh, and uh, is it a you know are you going to make a lot of money? Uh, going along right now? Probably not. But I do want to talk about a, a kind of an idea uh, or a way to describe uh, how I look at the markets. And one of those is kind of a risk-reward model. Um, and normally, I'll put my mouse over it here, you've got kind of a, uh, kind of a bell curve of returns over time in the market. Um, the market... Uh, has a, a different distribution than the standard bell curve. Most people call it a fat tail. And most people put the little tail out there just a little higher on the right and left-hand shoulders of this curve. Uh, that is not true. <laughs> that is a uh, fallacy. And you can read about it in several things. Uh, Nassim Tlaib calls it. Uh, the black swan event. Uh, but this is kind of uh, the uh, bell curve of options expiration, too. And I've done enough work on it. Uh, at some point, you get to the very bottom. And if it goes any further, instead of expecting a 1% uh, or maybe 1.25% uh, down move, or I mean up move from the lows that you normally get, eight out of 10 times in a, a year in the option market, uh, you kind of get over a little bit of a hump. And that hump exposes the huge downsides uh, over the next seven trading days. Uh, and what I kind of consider the uh, uh, a asymmetrical trade um, to the short side. And that is that if you can't close uh, mostly above uh, yesterday's low, uh, then you can expect three times, maybe three and a half times the average uh, to the upside during options expiration, which is normally about a percent uh, to a percent and a half, depending on which year you look at, uh, to a three and a half percent downside on average. And it's kind of one of those things where uh, you keep throwing a, a straw on the back of a camel, and you're not exactly sure where it's going to bust, and then it busts. Well, the markets actually cracked yesterday to the downside, at least to the way uh, I do stuff mathematically. Uh, and we were just a little bit to the outside of it. Um, you got to get a lot of bounces like we got today, thank God. 
there was a good opportunity to get out. Uh, and uh, one of the stocks I was in had a 40% short uh, sell number in it yesterday. So you knew you were probably going to get a fairly good, nice bounce to get out on. And the same thing with the S&Ps. Everybody went short. But as soon as the market starts uh, getting any kind of headway, you get a, a great deal more selling. And of course, at this point, we're really in the point where uh, there's going to be uh, margin call selling uh, at 10.30 and uh Pretty much 2:30. So, in about 20 minutes, we'll see how bad it gets. Eventually, it will burn itself out. My guess, though, is after a small bounce, you're going to get a retest of whatever low we do get. So, there's not a lot of reasons to uh, to uh, uh, other than uh, looking at the uh, five-minute charts to be going long here. Uh, at the same point, this has happened before. And uh, there was a, a, a thing called, uh, what, uh, long-term capital management. And for people that haven't been around the market for a long time, that was kind of my introduction to full-time trading uh, in October, November of 1998, uh, where you were probably the equivalent uh, being down maybe 2,200, maybe 2,500 points in the S&P cash. And it closed uh, what would be 2,500 points higher today in equivalent numbers. Just to give you kind of the scale of what happened when uh, Greenspan and uh, I'm trying to remember the other guy walked in. Uh, that is the problem when you get markets that are down like this. If the Fed decides to maybe think that uh, maybe there's a little too much going on. Uh, at that point, they uh, ignored bonds in Russia, by the way. So history doesn't repeat itself, but it does kind of rhyme. Uh, and uh, you can see it. Anyway, for a risk reward, at best, I suspect now, you're looking at a percent higher through uh, the 20th of May and a possible 3.5% downside. So what do you have? You have a market that is, unless you trade, like I said, very short term, Probably not tradable because uh, either bounce from a Fed announcement and or some other reason and uh, and or a black swan event uh, could take you out. Even as far down as we are now, just on average, uh, if we continue down, look for another three and a half percent lower. I'm talking about on the S&P. NASDAQ is a worthless index because six stocks are. 60% of everything. So it's much uh, much ado about nothing for the most part. But uh, you know what? You've got uh, a lot out here. But uh, look at those uh, um, what, what they call the fat tails out there. And this is really what the fat tails look like during options expiration. And that is look at three, maybe even three and a half times the downside once the market's broke and gets out of uh, the standard deviations that we've seen before. Uh, now, why do I think uh, you need to be worried? We're going to talk about that when we return. Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter path of least resistance is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month and try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? 
Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. So as we return, as I said, uh, kind of the 100-year flood comes every 10 years in the stock market. And I think we're kind of in one of those right now in a bear market. Uh, but expect about three times what you would normally expect to the downside and uh, yeah, maybe a third of that to the upside if you get something going. One of the reasons why I said you'd want to be a little worried about what the Fed's doing is if you didn't if you thought this was over months ago, as most people probably thought it was going to be, Powell's vote to get confirmed is today. Whatever he's been doing, they've been hanging this over his head for a while. I'm not exactly sure what they're looking for. Uh, but uh, you know what? It's supposed to be the vote this afternoon. Finally, he's I don't know what he's been doing. Is he the temporary Fed guy because his term ran out? I'm not exactly sure. Anyway, maybe the vote coming to, uh, this afternoon or is supposed to be this afternoon sometime. So maybe after that happens, we may see a more active Powell than we've seen in the past. When we go to look at uh, semiconductors, um, it seems like Taiwan Semiconductor understands uh, only too well uh, that it is a monopoly in the uh, fab business. And as we look at it, uh, a little lower today, a uh, little energy is a little off that March 29th low down to today's gap lower. Uh, but uh, they're raising their prices another 8% after four months ago raising them 20%, and it's going down. That probably tells you that even with uh, pricing uh, uh, strength uh, to their customers, it doesn't really matter. Uh, people are worried about an invasion of uh, Taiwan. But uh, I thought that was one of the things that was kind of interesting that I don't see a lot of people talking about. Uh, for streaming, we saw Disney down a little earlier in the day that it was up. I haven't looked in the last hour. Uh, you got a big kind of spinning uh, top out here at the moment. Um, they were up about five bucks uh, to 110 after hours last night. Uh, actually were kind of hammered earlier pre-market, um, never really did that much. One of the things uh, that a lot of these uh, guys, including Netflix, 
and now Amazon are working on, uh, and that is uh, freemium uh, shows. That are shows that you have to that you watch, but they're going to be commercials anyway, even after you pay them. Uh, Bosch, which is the longest running series on Amazon, is that way. Uh, the new series, which is kind of like a continuation. If you, I'm a big fan of the book series, so I've watched them all. But uh, in the book series, uh, there's kind of like three major um, parts of uh, the detective life, and that is detective on robbery and homicide in uh, Hollywood, and then uh, he goes off and becomes a private detective for a while, and then he comes back and starts doing close, uh, 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 cold cases uh, later on. Also goes to work for the Santa Barbara police for a little while, I think, too. Anyway, there's like 30 books in the series or something. It's There's a lot to mine there. But uh, kind of interesting to see that it probably doesn't make a big hill of beans for Amazon. Uh, but uh, with Netflix, FLX, and uh, Apple both eyeing this idea that, well, now that we got you to sign up, we're going to get you to pay anyway. Uh, maybe a little problematic. Um, it's not as bad as it could be today on Netflix, but of course, this is one that's been beaten down fairly strong, didn't get much of a bounce, and continues to be lower. Uh, we've talked long before these started to fall about the problems that Disney, Netflix, and to a lesser extent, Amazon has with production prices in Hollywood. Um, there are now 630. Last time we talked I, about this, I think a week or two ago, there were 610 scripted shows. There's now 630 English scripted shows uh, in production. I don't know how, even if, if you just wanted to know the names of them, much less actually watch them, if you'd ever be able to get to all of them. But uh, you got that. Anyway, uh, Netflix... Eh, it may just be at the point where it's hard to get it to go any lower than it's gone. But uh, almost all these uh, companies had huge problems. Now, for Netflix, you have two huge gaps. And as I said, I'm not a fan at all, ever, not a zero goose egg about buying a stock that has two big gaps down. Because 80% of the time, you're going to get one more. So uh, as far as uh, Netflix, Disney, these stocks uh, that have been down, uh, that have big gaps down, I am not a fan until you get that third gap, um, even if you have to go somewhere else. Now, on Disney, you've got really a couple of decent-sized gaps, the first one at 170, the second one at 130, and generally, but not always, there's a little bit of symmetry. So I'm going to say that you're probably going to get a gap down in Disney, and that may be the first opportunity to find some lows in it. Uh, okay. Let's see what else here. Okay. Anyway, you can give me a call, 877-927-6648. See what we have out here. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, Jay, I answered that earlier, answered that one earlier. Uh, but yeah, here's it. Uh, accelerated losses trump any technical signals. Uh, and what I thought was probably the best hand I could have in aces yesterday uh, turned into a widow maker. But uh, there's no uh, shame in being wrong in the market. The only uh, shame is staying wrong. And uh, I sold on the bounce this morning. Okay, what else do we have? Okay, let's take a look. Now, did that get everything? Uh, oh, lastly, uh, that we haven't got to, uh, we're starting to see the uh, dead rise from the graves. Uh, and that is uh, uh, GME, not DME. Okay. Um, now, you had kind of a nice bounce in GameStop today, and a lot of people are looking at it. It was much higher earlier. Uh, but again, if you're, if somebody said it in the den, what's going on here? 
if you need cash, you go to where you can get it. And at this point, if you were long this thing and had it at five bucks or two bucks or whatever, eh, you're probably pretty long in the tooth. There's going to be a lot of things going on. These things continue to be massively shorted. So don't be surprised to see big moves like that only to give them up later in the day. But uh, these things are going to be incredibly volatile as the bulls and bears uh, go after it. At some point, every stock can be literally too shorted to go any lower. What happens when uh, people won't sell and there are no more shares to cover? Well, the market makers can short it during the day, but it becomes problematic to the extreme. And you're going to get quite look back at If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, the Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of tfnn.com. Hopefully we're back. I don't hear any audio. Didn't hear anything back. But, uh, do not know. Maybe somebody in the den will tell me whether they hear me. Don't have anything going on here? Okay, cool enough. Uh, got to uh, get out here. Uh, how about an episode which explains the cop can afford a ten million dollar home? Uh, I think in the uh, series one. <laughs> Hector, uh, where they made a uh, movie and he got a million and a half dollars. That was like in, I think, in the mid 90s or something. 
and he bought that house with all the money. But uh, that's uh, that's it. I've been in that house, by the way, uh, for a uh, thing. They rent that out quite a bit. You'll see it in many movies, including Heat and a handful of others. But uh, there was a rap party for some movie that uh, we went to. So that's what, uh, no, I don't want sticky keys. Okay. Uh, he sent me that three times. Okay, question about Constellation Brands uh, from the den. Um, you got kind of a, a fairly decent retracement on this. Again, there's going to be stocks that people pile in for a retracement. Uh, what I'd want to do is see how it does at 240. My guess is you are going to get there, and it's probably going to be tomorrow. And maybe it holds, maybe it doesn't. I don't want to make a prediction on it. Uh, as I said, I'm pretty, uh, pretty uh, bearish on any long or short position out here that isn't uh, fairly short uh, in duration and overnight. Really a crapshoot, and that is uh, the the yin and the yang. Uh, the market wants to actually disk it get tanked uh but uh will the fed kind of step in and maybe do something overnight and that is a, a real problem and once the uh, once powell's confirmed today i think he's probably going to uh probably think a, a whole lot less about uh about what he does and worry about it he'll have his two or three years he's not running again uh i don't think uh, and that would be it. So I would be, I would be uh, uh, a seller of just about everything until you get some kind of uh, reversal in the market. Um, we should have held four thousand on the S and P cash. We did not. We broke it. The volume was good, not quite the volume I wanted to see. Uh, Eighteen billion shares would have been good. We got about fifteen and a half billion shares. Uh, but the market, that's close enough for the market to continue lower. So we'll keep an eye on it. Okay. And see what else we have here. Anyway, you like the light volume. You're going to retest probably uh, that low, uh, which is the 318, my guess, tomorrow, 24066. Uh, again, if you're going to play anything out here, I would want to limit your risk. And probably the only way to do that right now is with options, although they may be uh, ex uh, <laughs> Powell confirmed uh, look for 75% basis point for sure. Okay. Uh, they need to boot him. Yeah, booze and drugs. That's what to invest in. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, anyway, uh, that's kind of it. Uh, let's see what else do we have. Uh, okay. And uh, question on Apple, AAPL. Um, my guess is they continue to sell this because guess what? Uh, just like uh, what was the bank robber's name in the 30s? When they asked him why he robbed banks, he said that's where the money is. Uh, right now, as I, I pointed out, there was a lot of confluence areas and once these broke, um, you kind of just have to look downtown. You get fairly good uh, uh, support levels on these. But uh, let's go back to this. Once uh, Apple really broke through this one, I'm going to say it's 150, uh, 155, 156 area, uh, that's it. Now you get the real big movement out here on Confluence. Um, if it dips below that, you've lost. Now you're going back into the low of 137.89. That's the October 4th low at uh, $98. Um, and you had, all right, excuse me, at 98 million shares. You got 128 million today, don't you? Or is that yesterday? Let's take a look at that. 128 million shares already. Uh, so you're approaching 137.89 with already too much volume. But uh, if uh, you're in a market, and you're sitting on something that you bought at 15 bucks. It's un it's not uncommon, and I think I brought this up maybe on Monday. That invariably, instead of selling uh, the stinking stocks, these guys will sell the stocks that are good, mostly because maybe they'll lose 10 percent on the uh, on the sale because everybody else is selling these big stocks. 
Uh, but you, literally, you can't sell the other ones for 10 cents on the dollar. So uh, invariably, they will do the wrong thing. Those stocks will uh, continue, the, the horrible stocks will continue to go bankrupt. And they'll be out of the stocks that might give them any kind of upside going into the future. So we'll see that. Uh, <laughs> okay. What do we have out here? Uh, I haven't looked at it in a while, so we'll go ahead and uh, bring up Caterpillar uh, for Jeffrey. Again, when we uh, when you started breaking um, and couldn't get up past confluence areas, uh, that just opens up uh, Pandora's box for the downside. Uh, and, you know, you're into this gap, which should act as support at 9.3 million shares with just 2 million shares. So is it one of the better looking ones out here? Certainly is. Question is, uh, in this market condition, even with light volume, is that going to fail? And again, the uh, history uh, for things in uh, 2000, 1998, during the long-term uh, capital thing, the dot-com bust in 2000, the housing bust in 2007. Um, can we add now the uh, Bitcoin? I've never called it Bitcoin. I've called it the Bitcoin. Can we add uh, cryptocurrencies now to the long list of stuff people believe that uh, just wasn't true? Maybe. Anyway, uh, Caterpillar, uh, certainly a, a beautiful home in a crack neighborhood that's getting worse. And that's probably the best thing you could say. Yes, it's a wonderful home, and the lawn is uh, uh, is uh, manicured magnificently. Uh, but you got a bunch of bullet holes from uh, drive-bys coming by your house. And Caterpillar, probably one of the easier ones to probably hold because it's uh, so invested in uh, less uh, tech kind of uh, uh, hedge funds like uh, ARK. They'd never have a caterpillar in there. This is kind of thing that maybe Buffett would buy on the downside. But, uh, you know, if you can get some kind of signal, I don't see one. Everything below 4,000 uh, just reminds me of the first five minutes of uh, SVU. Um, you know, just uh, the worst and gross and makes you feel dirty and have to take a shower kind of thing. First five minutes of SVU, yes. you back in a are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for Dave's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors.
are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD. Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866 476 7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. As we return... Uh, get a lot of this stuff cleaned up as I take a look at what's going on in the market. Uh, down to, well, let's update it because, of course, it's probably old. Down 70 on the S&P cash, down 558 on the Dow NASDAQ, down to, uh, 216. Russell, down 6. Yeah, not as bad as you would think, right? Yeah. Of course, uh, GLD... Uh, Got to be looking at that, uh, uh, not that one here. Got to be looking at uh, that uh, 1776 that I think uh, Larry Pesavento has been talking about for a while. On the GLD, I think you're close enough uh, within three points of the 166.37 uh, test out here. Probably the best thing you can say is the volume's a little lighter. Uh, but 166.37. As I said, uh, maybe get a little change in Powell now that he's confirmed. Confirmed nut. But anyway, just kidding. Uh, but anyway, uh, confirmed. Uh, what do they call it when they put you uh, in the nut house? Not condemned. Committed. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, 1776. Uh, anyway, uh, as far as I can tell, you're in an ABC. Doesn't look horrible out here. Uh, hopefully, you haven't been writing this thing down. 16, yeah, 166.37 on the GLD. Uh, but uh, I don't see any reason to even get excited until you get a retest of that now. Uh, so that'd be another 30 bucks down, and that's close enough to uh, Larry's 1776. Uh, that I liked it. I just haven't followed it that much. I don't like being short gold, and I kind of watch it for bottoms that I might want to buy. Uh, I hate the thought of maybe being long gold the day that a nuke goes off, and it just wipes me out. Uh, so I tend to be, you know, I wouldn't buy. I wouldn't mind being short if I knew it was going down with options, but I wouldn't want the whole. I wouldn't want to eat the whole enchilada as we would like to say, or drop the chalupa on there. Okay. Let's get rid of that. Okay. Because I think... Uh, okay. Let's see if I got it here. Okay, let's exit. Continue in troubleshoot mode. Okay. I'll do that. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. Well, we're, I'm continuing to get emails from you, Hector, about Bosch and how he lives in a $10 million home. Uh, so, okay. Let's delete that. Uh, ERF from Mimi. We'll take a look at that. ERF. We'll take a look quickly. Okay. 
uh, Interplus Corporation. And, okay, first low is at 5 million shares, then 3.7, then 3, till you got 2. Well, it's certainly basing out, but again, uh, basing out is not going higher. And you want some kind of sign that says it's saying along with the market might be going higher. You certainly want the market behind you on days like this. And I don't see anything that changes that whatsoever. Okay. Uh, okay. Question about Yeti. If I change my opinion on this company? Um, no, I still see a lot of ads. Uh, and I said that was probably one of the big signals out there that once you started to see ads, discounts on Yeti products, it was going to be problematic. Now, that wasn't from the top, but as it was going sideways a month ago or six weeks ago, we talked about those ads. And uh, I'm trying to remember his name's Peter or something or rather, made a lot of money by uh, just listening to his wife who'd go to the malls and he would go to... Uh, uh, he would go to uh, the mall and check out the stores she liked to buy at. Peter something. Uh, Peter Lynch. Yeah, that's it. I couldn't remember. So anyway, um, I watch a lot, especially I brought up uh, in the uh, Tech Insider all the discount ads finally on video cards and said that that was probably an impending problem when you start seeing those so you don't have to be a genius a lot of times you just have to keep your eyes open but uh i wasn't a big fan of this to begin with i thought it was massively overpriced stocks and this isn't a company that you can really uh, uh hypnotize everybody into believing they should just pay twice as much like apple um you know you've got a, a really kind of pied piper uh for that maybe tesla there's a company you can if you do it well enough, uh, you'll get a core amount of people that can believe just about anything. Uh, but uh, and Yeti, I don't know how you hypnotize everybody into it. It sits in the corner. Uh, you have to clean it up. It's a big status symbol. I understand that. But like I said, you can buy the same thing at Wal uh, Walmart or actually at Sam's. I see uh, a one that I think is 98 percent as good at holding ice as Yeti at half the price. Uh, same fiberglass shell. Very hard for me to get uh, too excited out there. Uh, the Nug Man says uh, he thinks the SLV uh, may have bottomed out here. Well, you're certainly into a gap. Um, let's see if we go a little bit farther back here. Can I? Let's go back to two years here. Um, you're back into this gap in the SLV. A gap higher was 76 million shares. You got 29. Again, you probably have some support, but support doesn't mean you're going higher. just means you're not going lower. And I'm not willing to, to say that why there may be a 75% chance of higher, it's not that much higher, and a 25% chance of much lower. Again, when you look at stocks like Microsoft and Apple, the people that said, I'm going to hold her, hold on for dear life, uh, like they did in Bitcon, um, it's not a winning strategy. And I want some kind of sign out here. And uh, what is it? Uh, Ace of Base. I saw the sign. Uh, I didn't see the sign. No burning bush yet on either gold or silver. Uh, maybe the best thing you could hope for is sideways. Uh, but I don't see anything out here that uh, says that you want to be long silver or gold or anything until you get a sign and a signal. And uh, at this level, I want a real burning bush. I want tablets coming down from the top of a mountain engraved. I want stuff out there that is fairly unambiguous. I want bottle rockets. I want uh, pretty much uh, what else is that? Uh, Roman candles. I want uh, fireworks. I want something to hang my hat on. I'm not going to go out and uh, say that uh, after we bust 4,000, there's anything better down here without a incredibly indelible signal.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. With market volatility roaring back in April, Larry Pesavento has just announced a five-hour live trading webinar coming up on May 17th. Larry Pesavento is a 56-year trading veteran and has mastered his trading skills through many different market fluctuations. Join Larry on May 17th as he hosts a live five-hour trading webinar from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Eastern Time, giving you insight into how he analyzes the market and decides his plays. Larry will delve deep into the ABCD trading pattern, explaining how to structure your trading day, the times most likely to generate signals, which signals to ignore, and how to use the pattern to mitigate risk. In this all-day five-hour live trading webinar, take a seat by Larry's side as he trades the market it's real time, including the Dow and S&P 500 E mini, crude oil, natural gas, gold, treasury bonds, wheat and soybeans, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar yen, and more. If you've ever wanted to get inside the mind of a market master, you cannot miss this live trading webinar. To sign up today, just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. And a question of whether a UFO would be a good enough signal. And yes, aliens would be a good signal out here in the market. Anything out of the ordinary. Uh, at the moment, uh, the only thing I hear is uh, dogs and cats living together. Uh, real wrath of God stuff. That kind of stuff. Uh, anyway, uh, we're still down a little bit. It doesn't look good. Uh, we're down 67 points, 200 on the NASDAQ. And you're going into a Friday. So the question is, how many people are going to want to stick this out another couple of days if they're uh, now at break even or maybe uh, uh, broke mountain? Who knows where these folks are in their positions if they've have read, uh, if they've uh, uh, rode them down here and believe the hype of uh, hold on for dear life. You just never know. But uh, are there signs of individual stocks? Yes. It's just that fifty percent of any trade is the market, and if you got a sick market, um, it is just tough. And uh, I don't see anything out here that says uh, anything's going to change. Maybe we have to go into the weekend and just see something blistering, but uh, I wouldn't surpri be surprised uh, seeing thirty-six hundred on this run uh, before we see some kind of turnaround. Now uh, we kind of. You know, we went to the extreme. We broke the extreme. It just gets worse from there if you haven't listened to the first part of the show. And that is uh, the black swan events 
where nothing really makes sense anymore. Technicals don't tend to work, except finally when you get there, there's a pretty good signal. But all the way through, there aren't a lot of uh, uh, things like headlights illuminating that sign way down the street. Uh, you're just kind of uh, looking at the next 10 feet, and it all looks rather bleak. So, uh, yeah, have a great day. Just a thought. Anyway. This, too, shall pass, uh, whether or not it's stocks in the stratosphere or ones in the gutter. This, too, shall pass. We'll be back tomorrow, same bat channel, same bat time, and listen uh, for the next hour and wrap it up with uh, Tom O'Brien. Building wealth trading in the stock market seems impossible to